sure I pronounced his name exactly, but he was born in uh, South Sudan. At six years old, he watched his parents die as a result of the Sudanese Civil War. Now that's very tragic, especially when you're six years old growing up, growing up in, the, in the South of Africa. But um, he went on from refugee camp to refugee camp. He would eventually, now going through tough times, nine years later, eventually go to the United States, graduate from the University of Florida with a PhD in, in medical sciences, and he would, he would go on to establish the first medical clinic in, in, uh, in Mar, uh, South Sudan. So now, that's, that's pretty crazy. I mean, started pretty much from the bottom, went on to get a PhD in uh, medical sciences, then establishes the first medical clinic in South Sudan. So that's the kind of change that we can all do in the world. And what did he use to, 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 to get that change? He used higher education, he graduated from the University of Florida. Okay, so now it's relevant to all of us, relevant to me, because we're all in that higher education system. We're all, we're all in the university, we're all, we're all in college, we're all in our, def, our different degree programs. And I, and, and I myself, I have done a lot of research as to why um, higher education is so important for all of us and as, as to why we need to continue in this path. And the sad thing is the world today really needs well-educated people. I mean, you look, what, you look at what's going on around the world. I mean, each one of us is capable of that change that, that Jacob had done. So, yeah, that's a little pep talk. So, um, well, so first I'll talk about the value of higher education. Then I'll talk about the opportunities it provides as well as the lessons that go beyond the classroom. Okay. So first, now I'll talk about the value of it. So when, when people talk about higher education, they usually talk about, oh yeah, I want to go to college to get a better job. Well, they say that with good reason. Because a, a study done by Economic Policy Institute, um, college graduates earned 90% more an hour on average than those without a degree. Now, that, that's, that's huge because, I mean, you look at people saying, oh yeah, look at, look at, um, look at all these people who have you know, who have, who have not, who have didn't go to college and doing extremely well for themselves. Well, statistically saying, they're like less than 1% of those that don't go. And what happens to the rest of the 99? Well, they make up more than half of the workforce today. And all, and all of us need to attend higher education because by 2018, it is, you know, study by the University of Washington says that 63% of jobs will require some form of college education. Now, some will say that, oh, but it's a financial burden that, oh, college, there's no guarantees that college will pay off. Well, um, Shirley Mullen, uh, president of, of Houghton College in New York, says that um, no degrees, uh, a person without a degree results in double your chances of being unemployed and decreased lifetime earnings by hundreds of thousands of dollars. So now, now that I talked about how valuable it is in today's economy, I'll talk about the opportunities it provides. So, College, college is awesome. I mean, we're all in university, and one one big reason why we all go to college is because we get to choose our own career path. You get to choose what you want to do, what you want to major in, what you want to study, what you want to learn, what you want to do with your life. Now, another another opportunity it provides is you get to meet professionals in that field of study. You know, whether you want to be an engineer, you meet people who who um, who are in that line of study and who can help you along that road. Um, you establish social connections. For example, if if I study business and I want to and I want to go on into start my own business, you know I can get a good friend from from who is studying law or whatever because we know each other. We were friends in college. She can help me out. See, it's those kind of connections that you don't get outside of an educa of an education institute. So establish lifelong connections. Enhance your employment options. You know, companies will companies will look at you and say, what has this person done? So valuable that we need to hire him. Well, they see that that you went you you went the extra mile to go and get your degree to go and study, and they will say, okay, this person's this person's good, and it makes you more marketable, as I just said. Companies look at you and they say, this guy is this guy's good. So and then this little this this, this graph is what you want to look at. The squares shows the unemployment rate for people with at least a bachelor's degree. See, this is a some college and the list goes on. Less than high school, high school, some college, associate's degree, and a bachelor's degree. Now, as you can imagine, the list just goes lower and lower the higher you progress. So, there's that. Now, I will talk about the, the lessons you learn 
that go beyond the classroom. Okay, so after going through such a harsh, you know, such harsh four years, four to five years, you get a boost of confidence. I mean, you just, you just, you, you, once you graduate from college or a high education, any kind of education system, you get this boost of confidence. You know, you just did something very, very hard. Um, you learn life lessons. I mean, I'm, I'm learning this right now. I'm learning time management, adapting to new environment, work, uh, working efficiently with the resources and the time that you have. You become an independent individual. Everything's up to you when you when you go to this when you go to this education system. You become well educated for your future, make informed decisions that are critical to your life. You know, you will you will have background in various subjects, and no 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 an extra thing or two that will help you so much. And little do you know that you're learning these things along the way. And a survey by the Pew showed that uh, college students had stated that that. College education helped them students grow intellectually and more mature as a person. Now this is stuff that you can't you can't buy at a store. This is stuff you learn. This is stuff you experience. And what, what, and what better way to to learn and experience these things than by than by improving yourself and improving your chances for the future? So in conclusion, higher education is needed now more than ever. Um, go above and beyond a bachelor's degree. Uh, that's I mean. Bachelor's degrees are, are, are slowly like decreasing in value, but that's why you need to go above and beyond that. Uh, join the 30%. Uh, join the 30% of individuals who who have a, who have a degree in college. So that. And I will close with this. This is a quote by Malcolm X: "Education is our passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs for the people who prepare for it today." Malcolm X.